Hello, and welcome to those endless mysteries. Today I'm going to be looking into a sighting of a Wendigo. This is one of the most frightening creatures that I have ever looked into. These creatures are pure evil, while maybe even being zombie-like creatures. At least that's what I think, anyway. Just the way the witnesses describes them, with bones and intestines hanging from their bodies, while they are able to move and chase people down. These are some of the scariest and strangest sightings. While I always keep an open mind while I'm reading these accounts, I do realize that sometimes people's perceptions can be influenced by many things. But with many of these types of sightings, people reaccounts are of a traumatic experience. So let's get into the sighting. The witness says that it was November the 10th of 2018, at approximately 10.30 that evening, that he was driving on a nearly empty road, saying that it was a cool evening while being clear. Now, as he was coming up to a stop sign, there was a car stopped well before the stop sign up ahead. As the witness was slowing down and coming to a stop behind it, when he suddenly noticed this deer-like creature, saying that this thing was standing on its hind legs. Now that he was stopped, he knows why the other car was stopped. He figures that whoever was inside the other car was watching this creature as well. He says that this creature seemed to have smooth skin, with no fur that you would expect to see on a deer-like creature. The skin was gray in color, while well, he said that you could see this creature's ribs through its skin. So already this sounds sick or very strange looking to me. No fur. So could this creature have what's known as the mange or some other disease? Or is it a true sighting of a wendigo? The witness next said that this creature's head was a skull with no flesh that he could see upon it. While it did have short antlers coming out of its skull. Okay, that's wild. So this creature looked to be dead while standing on two legs. But yet it was moving as if it was still alive. See, these stories sometimes confuse me. He also said that this creature's arms were bent in an unusual way. Not like a deer's at all, but opposite of that. So I know that a deer's legs would bend down at its joints. But from what I get from the witness here, is that this creature's bent upwards or outwards? More like a human's arms, I would think. So that's another thing leading me to think he might have seen a Wendigo for sure which the head being a skull of a creature, did a lot also. So as the witness was watching this creature from his car, this creature went down on all fours, then started walking towards the wood line. The witness said that this creature didn't move like any other animal that he has ever seen. This creature would move both its front legs or arms, in front of itself, then looked to pull its back legs up. It truly walked like it was using its front legs as crutches or something. Wow, again, I have to say that this creature is a strange one for sure. I think that anyone seeing a creature looking like this would have to be completely terrified of what they were seeing. Then walking and moving this strangely, it would have to really mess with a person's mind. As the witness continued to watch this thing disappear into the wood line, he was in shock of what he had just witnessed. So I guess I would be also. I don't know what I would have done seeing something that horrendous. So the witness said that as he turned back to face the road, that the car in front of him was already gone not knowing just how long he watched this creature for, or when the other car had left. So this was one of those terrifying and strange sightings, 
that I come across all the time. So what did this witness truly witness? Was it some kind of zombie deer? Or was it a wendigo out looking for its next victim? Like I said, the wendigo seems to be pure evil. Even said to be able to possess people, turning them into flesh-eating monsters. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this sighting of a wendigo. Today we are going to be looking into a sighting story of a creature that comes out of Honey Grove, Texas. Now, Honey Grove is a small town in Texas. One of those small towns where everyone knows each other. This town only sets about 20 miles south of the Red River. It's said that David Crockett discovered this area himself back in 1836. That Davy sent letters back home to Tennessee, telling of a place that had an abundance of honey-filled trees, hint the name of Honey Grove. With the population back in the 2010 census being just short of 1,700 people, it's like most small towns having a festival for Davy Crockett as the town's founder. So just a normal small town. Then came 1984, when something strange was reported in Honey Grove. A witness reported seeing a lizard man. The witness said that she was awoken by her dogs barking. Then she heard what she thought was a twig breaking outside of her bedroom window saying that at this time she got out of bed and made her way to the front door, thinking that her daughter's pony had gotten loose again. When she opened the door and took a look around, when she noticed walking in the street was a huge-looking lizard creature, saying that it was about seven feet tall, while it was walking on two legs with its arms hanging halfway down to the concrete. Now, as this thing was walking across the street, the witness noticed a long tail in the road. The witness says that there wasn't any doubt about what she was seeing, that it walked under a street light, so there was no mistaking what this creature was. It was a lizard man. Now, the lizard man is a cryptoid that is said to be a large bipedal reptile. It has been reported as being aggressive to those who have seen this creature. This witness said that the street light was only 25 feet from her front door, that this light was a very bright light. Now the witness says that after this creature crossed the road, that its tail was still halfway across the road. She also said that this creature was gray in color. It did have scales, she said, while this creature's arms hung down below its hips, almost all the way down to this creature's knees, while this thing was walking across the street. It wasn't in any rush to get across or out of the lot for that matter. It seemed as if it didn't have a care in the world. At least that's the way it walked, anyway. The witness said that she was in shock over what she was seeing, saying that this creature never looked back at her. She did watch this creature until it was gone from her sight. While she has never seen the creature again, well, I bet she never wants to, either. I know I wouldn't. Something I find very strange about this sighting is that there was a UFO sighting that same year, 1984. So two strange sightings in a single small town of less than 1,700 people, which you have to remember that the 1,700 people comes from the 2010 census. So back in 1984, there probably was way fewer people around. Well, there were even Bigfoot sightings in the 80s as well. I don't know if it's all related or not. Just seems strange to me that all of this happened in the same year. So I guess Honey Grove was the place to be in 1984. So I hope you all enjoyed this sighting of the Honey Grove Lizard Man. Today we will be looking into a flying humanoid report.
This sighting comes out of Madison, Wisconsin from January of 2002. Now, the witness given this report was only six years old at the time of the sighting. That she makes this sighting report for her mother. That she was in the car but doesn't remember the sighting. So keep in mind that she has been told this story many times over the years. Now, the witness states that in January of 2002, that they lived in an apartment that was off of the Seminole Highway exit on the Beltline in Madison. That one night they got off at their exit, then they turned left and started heading towards the second set of lots there. That after they passed the bridge and stopped for the lot. Now this is when the witness says her mom saw this flying creature. She said that this creature was flying straight at them, that it turned its head and they made eye contact. But upon them making eye contact, this creature just disappeared right in front of her. But that before this creature just disappeared, the witness or the mother noticed that this creature was very bat-like, but way too large to have been a bat. While it was dark outside, making it very hard for her mother to make out details, making this creature look very opaque in its color, almost shadow-like. With this creature's wings being large, but that she never saw them flap, that this creature was just gliding in the air. Now the daughter says that she does remember her mother screaming and being completely freaked out that night. Her mother says that she didn't scream until her and this creature locked eyes. Its eyes were glowing a bright red and seemed to pass right through her. Then this thing was just gone, the mother said that when she became freaked out and screamed, the eyes were scary, but that this thing was there. She was looking right at it. Then the next thing she knows, it was gone. Where could it have gone? So it was able to be viewed as long as it didn't know she was watching it. But as soon as they locked eyes and it knew that it was being watched, it simply just disappeared. So does this creature have some crazy special abilities which allows them to vanish or cloak? Or could these creatures that are being seen be coming from a dimensional rift or something like that? That's a theory that is being thrown around a lot nowadays. Or could it be some kind of time rift in time? That when people are seeing these creatures through a window of time and space, but when the window closes, these creatures just disappear. Just giving a few thoughts here about why this creature just seemed to vanish to the witness. So the witness says that she thought that was it. She saw this thing and never thought she would ever see it again. But they had moved to a new apartment, saying that her mom was downstairs doing laundry when she turned to go look into the storage unit. While she was looking in the unit, she says that she saw another bat-like creature with the same red glowing eyes, that it was in back of the unit behind some of their stuff. She was sure that this was the same kind of creature that she saw on Seminole just a few weeks earlier. The witness said that fear rushed all over her body as this creature's red glowing eyes were staring right at her. At this point, she ran back upstairs, then would never go back downstairs again. That they moved away from there after a few days of this sighting, with them leaving everything that was in the storage unit, saying that they never saw this creature again, but that after the second sighting, they found a few news articles of people reporting very similar sightings of this creature. So even now, they still try to find news reports on these creatures. But they think someone is taking all the reports down. That they can't even find the other reports anymore. So they think there are something trying to keep the sightings from the public. That you can't find any official reports anymore. There have been many sightings of flying red-eyed humanoids over the years. Such sightings includes the Lake Michigan Mothman, 
the Wisconsin Batman and others. The Wisconsin Batman is often described as having yellowish glowing eyes, though. But I can see no reason it couldn't have large red glowing eyes. Well, if there are people out there looking for some of these sighting reports, try looking up the Singular 14 Society, with 14 being spelled F-O-R-T-E-A-N. They have a few sightings listed there, with some of the sightings dating as far back as 1969. There are a few people out there that are truly trying to bring out this being into the mainstream consciousness with most of these types of creatures being described as having large to medium-sized wings, while they also have large red glowing eyes, with sightings not only being in the air. They have been seen walking along the ground as well, with some description describing them as being a gargoyle-type creature to a human owl-looking creature. But the bat type comes mostly out of Wisconsin, so could they be multiple types of these flying humanoids? Flying humanoids are some of the strangest cryptids out there. So many versions out there of these creatures. Or could they only be one type of this creature? So whether if you have seen a mothman flying over Lake Michigan or a large gargoyle over Texas, even the humanoid bat-like flying over Wisconsin, just remember that these creatures are being seen by many people. While yes, they will always be those people that says that these creatures can't possibly exist. Just say to yourself as they are telling you this, that they wasn't there, but that you were, and that you know what you saw. Almost all people can't believe in something that they haven't seen for themselves. So without them seeing these creatures, they will never believe in them. So keep your heads up while reporting these strange creatures. Well, I hope you like this sighting. This sighting report comes out of Wisconsin from September the 26th of 2006. The witness is a local Cherokee man named Wo Haley. In a sighting report from La Crosse County, the witness said his son was driving on Briggs Road in the village of Holman, saying they just topped a hill on the road when all of a sudden they saw a terrifying figure being illuminated by the headlights of the truck. The strange figure was flying straight at them while being caught completely off guard by this creature, saying that they were about to collide with this massive creature when the witness son swerved the truck to the side of the road, trying to miss this thing. With this creature still heading straight at them, as they braced for the impact with this thing, when all of a sudden this creature changed directions and shot straight up into the night sky, only a moment before impacting their truck. While it was changing directions, it let out a loud shrieking noise. Then it just disappeared from their view. Almost immediately as the creature left their view, a strange illness overtook them both. They opened the doors on the truck and began to vomit. As both the men were vomiting everything back up from their stomachs, with the son of the witness being completely overtaken by the illness. He was said to have puked seven times into the ditch while being surrounded by the darkness of the night. Now finally, with their stomachs being completely empty and their very strong desire to get out of there, they climbed back into their truck and started heading home. With the witness and his son hoping that they would start feeling better soon, while strangely this wasn't to be the case, they both would stay ill for the next week. While both of the men attributed their illness to the weird creature they saw that night. After the week had passed and the witness finally feeling better, he took the pen and paper, writing down everything that had happened to him and his son, even going as far as drawing a picture of what they had seen that fearful night 
along Briggs Road. He described this creature as being between six to seven foot tall, while being gray and brown in its color. Saying that this creature also possessed 10 to 12 foot wings, which looked to be leathery bat-like wings, with the creature looking to have arms like appendages that seemed to be connected to its wings, which had huge looking claws at the end of what was its hands or paws or whatever you want to call them. It also had what looked to be human-like legs coming off of it. The witness stated while the feet was huge, but not having toes, instead it had claws, huge claws at that, he said, with glowing eyes that just seemed to pierce them to the bone. The glowing yellow eyes reflected back at them from the headlights, with the creature having a mouthful of sharp teeth. He also said that you could see the creature's ribs in its chest area. Now the witness also said that he didn't know if this creature was already flying towards their truck, or if it jumped up into the air and charged them as they topped the hill. That the only thing he did know for sure was that this creature wasn't a bird or any other animal that they have ever heard about. He and his son was sure that they both had seen what only could be explained as a monster, a flying monster. While their sighting does sound bizarre, it shouldn't be overlooked or discarded too quickly, as other strange sightings of this creature, or one like it, was seen in 1997. It was seen by a road working crew. It was described as a flying humanoid creature with a lot of detail matching up as well with the last sighting. So was this sighting of the man bat as it is become known as, with another person describing a large man-like lizard creature that was covered with the greenish brownish scales, that it possessed large wings and flew over them as they watched it disappear off into the distance. While also during the same time frame, a man and his son who was looking for their lost dog. They said that they came across a large lizard man type creature while they were along Black River near La Crosse. This creature frightened them so badly that they just froze in terror. Both of them said that the creature kept eye contact with them as it watched them slowly move out of the area. Could the man bat creature be responsible for all of these sightings? Or are they multiple creatures around La Crosse County? There are even a theory going around out there today that the man bat creature could even be related or even the same type of creature as the Mothman. With many people relating a lot of the drownings in La Crosse area to this creature, I guess you could follow these reports down a big rabbit hole if you wanted to, and link them to many sightings of the Mothman as well. But I think I will stay away from that one, at least for now. So I hope you like this sighting of the Man Bat. If you have any comments, then drop them below. Until next time, stay safe and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching Those Endless Mysteries.